That was a fabulous demonstration. Yeah, it's, it, it's, uh, it never fails because what people don't understand is that what restricts our movement, you know, we're dealing with a lot of baby boomers out there, what restricts our movement is not age. Mm -hmm. It's the signal going to the muscle to tell that muscle a different message. So all I do is just simply send a different signal in and say, instead of doing this, mm -hmm. do this, and boom, you're right back to where you were when you were a child. Uh, the, uh, the device is, is, uh, utilizes a proprietary wave, which is patented, mm -hmm. and that's what allows that to happen that quickly. Now, there's no other device in the world that will do what you just saw right there. Right. And the reason is that, that when you put electrical current in the body, it sends exactly the same signal to protect. So, have you ever had a leg cramp? Oh, yes. Okay, did you wish to keep that leg cramp? <laughs> no, no, not at all. What's yeah. the first thing you did? You instinctively moved your leg out like that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm a proponent of physical movement to solve a problem. Right. Unfortunately, when you put electricity into the body, the muscle does this, just like you're in a leg cramp, mm -hmm. and then the current philosophy is we keep you in this cramp for 20 minutes, and then we send you on your way. Well, obviously, that's not going to solve a problem. Right. What you just saw solves the problem. Because mm -hmm. I know when a lot of people have the pain in their legs, then the first thing to do is to try and pull the toe up and to get the muscles to Correct. actually release it. Correct. You know. But so. see, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. You can't pull your toe up if it's cramping here efficiently because the brain is telling this muscle to do exactly the opposite of what you want it to do. Mm -hmm. So what you have to do is send a different message. Now, until you have this device at your disposal, mm -hmm. then you're gonna have to just keep going like this until finally it releases. Mm -hmm. And it might take a minute, might take five minutes, might take hours. And when that happens, that muscle is gonna be brutally sore the next day because it's been in that contracted state. Right. Here within, like I said, a sixteenth of a second, we can get rid of that. Wow. And with this device um, helping people, though you mentioned that you also are working with some of the more NBA players and oh, the Vikings. Sure. And sure. So when they have their muscle spasms, as you referred to, mm -hmm. you having them work through it. Right. And, and you know, we, we, the, the device is a multifaceted tool. Mm -hmm. And it's a tool for preventing injury, preventing things like carpal tunnel, preventing things like back strains, preventing things like like uh, this firefighter here having to retire because of a back issue. That should have never happened. Right. Should be able to, to enjoy life for the rest of your life without any pain whatsoever. All of those things sound too good to be true, but unfortunately they are true. Mm -hmm. So um, the device, again, is a tool. It allows us to prevent injury. It allows us to quickly recover people from injury mm -hmm. and surgery right. very, very quickly. So instead of going in under the knife, they should actually consider seeing you prior to oh. because they have nothing to lose. Absolutely. And if it, this doesn't work, then they can right. go up for the surgery. So uh -huh. this we is have about uh, 150 to 200 people every single month that we're able to prevent joint replacement surgery, knee replacement, hip replacement, spinal fusion surgery, mm -hmm. laminectomies, discectomies. All of those things can be prevented as long as you understand that the reason you have to have the surgery is to solve a symptom. If you find the origin of the problem, mm -hmm. there's no longer a need for surgery. Wow. And it just seems like everyone should have this device. And I understand, too, that for those people that may have even viewed um, you on Knowledge for Wellness, you're also mm -hmm. doing a $100 type of... Uh, with the doctors, you're actually letting them go to the doctor and you're doing teaching the doctors mm -hmm. on how to do what that also. What we've done is, in an effort to, our mission statement of our company mm -hmm. is to replace rest, ice, compression, and elevation, which is how we presently deal with injury, mm -hmm. uh, with ARP. Sure. And the reason for that is, in our opinion, rest, ice, and compression, and elevation is a two to three hundred year old therapy mechanism that was outdated two to three hundred years ago. Right. <laughs> yes. So it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I mean, b bottom line is it doesn't work. So what we do is we're teaching physicians all over the world on how to use this technology within their practice. Okay. And so any viewer anywhere can actually have a treatment in their home mm -hmm. 
at absolutely no cost and no risk to them whatsoever. So let's say you're thinking about, and your doctor has told you that you need a brand new knee. Mm -hmm. Well, we can send this device to you, send a webcam to you, and we can treat you over the webcam in the privacy of your own home, just like you're in our clinic, mm -hmm. and after that first treatment, you'll see exactly what that gentleman just saw, an instantaneous change. So then you'll know for yourself mm -hmm. that this can help you. Right. And then once that happens, then you can go into our treatment program and we'll treat you for 24 days and you'll have no more problem. Wow, and I love the idea that we'll have an end result. Instant. Be yeah. Because there's so many people that have been on drugs for so many years and they're not, their quality of life is just hindered so terribly. And to know that there would be an end result and mm -hmm. that they would get to the, the problem and right. solve it for them. See, that's why you, what you do is such a great service is because knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, people are, have been brainwashed into believing that if they have pain, mm -hmm. they're going to have to take this little white pill for the rest of their life to allow them to have a quality of life. Mm -hmm. That's just not so. Right. It's absolutely not so. There's many, many ways of preventing it. Mm -hmm. This is just one of them. There's mm -hmm. many ways of, of preventing those issues. Right. And we we're also talking with uh, some people that are working at the hospitals now with alternative medicine. Mm -hmm. So that's being introduced and people are really educating themselves and looking for alternative ways because mm -hmm. Western medicine, as good as it is, doesn't fit the bill for everybody. Western medicine uh, is great. Mm -hmm. Western soft tissue medicine is terrible. Okay. And, and, and you, you brought that up, and, and a lot of people say, well, are you knocking Western medicine? No, no. not at all. Right. Medicine is medicine. Mm -hmm. Your knee problem is not a medicine problem. Right. Your knee problem is a muscle problem mm -hmm. caused by a neurological symptom that is causing a physiological symptom. So unless we start looking at where the origin of the problem is, mm -hmm. we'll never solve the problem. Right. Never. If you're an accountant and your balance sheet doesn't work, you mm -hmm. don't just say, well, you know, I think I'll just change these <laughs> numbers. No, yeah. you have to yeah. find out where, where you mixed up the numbers up on top. Mm -hmm. That's all we're doing is finding out where those numbers are mixed up. Right. And I know that you treat so many different variables with uh, the whole body. The only people that really don't apply to this are women that are pregnant mm -hmm. and also people that um, have uh, pacemakers. That's correct. Yeah. Those are the only two people that literally we cannot work on. And we mm -hmm. can't work on them because, not because we're going to hurt them, right. but because of the insurance regulations say that if we work on them, mm -hmm. we'll lose our insurance. Right. Is there a chance of hurting them? No. There, there's no way you can damage someone or hurt someone or cause them physical harm with this device because mm -hmm. this device mimics the human body. Right. All this is a jump start to the human body. Mm -hmm. We work with a lot of quadriplegics, paraplegics. We work with a lot of MS patients. And just because your brain can't send the right signal to that muscle, mm -hmm. doesn't mean an external brain can't. Okay. So this becomes the external brain. Mm -hmm. It starts telling that muscle what to do and all of a sudden that muscle starts doing what it's supposed to do. Wow, and so it's sending the signal and so do you actually look over the whole body mm -hmm. and then you just, when someone tells you that they have pain, let's say like my knee, mm -hmm. and then you would assess this and you would see probably that the pain was up maybe in my groin or somewhere right. different, right. but that I felt it at the end result of my knee. Exactly. Okay. And see what a physical therapist would do mm -hmm. or a trained traditional therapist would do is basically look right here and we'd apply rest, ice, compression, and elevation, mm -hmm. and pills, okay? <laughs> so what we're looking for is what caused that to happen? Nobody asks that question. Mm -hmm. They only address where it happened. We ask the question, what caused it, and where's it coming from? Once we get the answer to those two questions, your problem's solved. Okay, that sounds great.